School has started again, and this week our comedians give us some advice and tell us some stories about their school days. Hi, my name's uh, Skull Besaid. Uh, a funny story from my school days, uh, the, last, the last part of my school days, my parents took me to an English school, from a very Afrikaans school to an English school, because I knew I wanted to go to UCT. So I got into new, this new school, I'm very excited, it's, it's an English school and it's mixed. It's mixed, there are black people in the school, you know? And this was very weird for me, I, I took out all my books, I'm very excited, it's the first day of class, I'm in matric. And this girl comes and sits next to me, and this was a very weird, awkward situation for me, you know, because she was black. Now, I come from a very traditional Afrikaans community, you know, where everyone has pictures of De La Raya on the wall, and we all drive buckies, we listen to Aris Gia, we wear piti brookies with a t-shirt that says, Yamrom van jou kaktewer. So this girl sitting next to me, and as a traditional brought up Afrikaans boy, my natural reaction is, um, no thanks, maybe I'll order something later. And she just kind of looked at me and, and she looked very pissed off and confused and I, I, I felt bad, I wanted to fix it, so immediately I said, oh no, wait, geez, um, I'm really sorry, uh, I'll just have a brana van and coke then, double. Hey, cool, my name is Dean Schroeder and uh, school starting like the other day. Um, when I was in school, I went to school in Cape Town, and um, to all the new kids at school, just remember like certain nicknames stick with you for life. And colored people, especially in Cape Town, they come up with the best nicknames. Like I had a couple of my friends, um, I have four, four really close friends, you know, like one guy's name was Hara, so he had big hair. Other guy's name was Biena, because he ran really fast in the 100 meters. Uh, my other friend's name was Copper, big head. And my last friend's name was Pila. I didn't really get that one though. Hello, my name is Ryan Whittle, and my funny school story was when I was in a play. It was Shakespeare's Macbeth, and I was in all boys' school, so I played Lady Macbeth. And uh, and the one scene I was I was playing, and it was an all posh girls audience, and they started giggling at me, and I don't know why. And then I, I did a scene with Macbeth, and then the Macbeth dude started giggling at me also, very quietly. And then we finished the scene, and we walked off stage, and I said, what the fuck is so funny? He's like, your sips are done, and your tits are sagging. I'm like, thanks a lot, you fucking asshole. I laugh at a woman about things like that. Uh, when I was at school, we had a teacher, uh, at the nickname Artapel. In English, that's potato. We really loved eating people with a cricket bat, not just for summer, when when he when he was dishing out punishment. And he liked giving you a couple of whacks with a cricket bat if your hair was too long. So after he got to me the first time, I made a bit of a pact with myself and whoever was around, and I said, I will just to get back at this guy, I will leave school, and for 20 years after school, I will never cut my hair. I've only got seven years to go. My name, my name is Timmy Aris, and uh, the today's trending topic is about your first day of school. And you're going to need some advice. The first thing, I'm not going to talk about schoolwork, that's your only endowment between you and your parents. But you're going to play a lot of soccer, and there's a game, there's a specific game in soccer that you will play, it's called Shibobo. That's when the ball goes in between your legs, right? Now understand the simple rule. When someone Shibobos you, you may have to run and touch a bin. And in between that lane, between you and the bin, they are allowed to, can I swear, can I swear, they're allowed to fuck you up. If they trip your feet, they hit you, they punch you, they kick you, and if you fall to the floor, put, put your, the protection. It's not going to help, but just cover the face, because you don't want to be hit to the face on like your third day of school. But you're going to be beaten until you touch that bin. So run to the bin. That's all I can say. Run to the bin. I even got scars. Oh no, that's my dog. Hi, my name is Vittorio Leonardi, and uh, I think my happiest memory of childhood was when I was in Standard 6, what is now Grade 8, and I was a matriculant skivvy. And as my punishment to embarrass me, he made me measure a matric girl's leg with my fingers. I nearly made it to the Lagoon of Mystery, but sadly, she was not in the mood. Story of my life. To you, Keith Barlow Jones, my matriculant, bless you and all your bloodline for that amazing memory. Thanks. Actually, these are the fingers I used. 